Today we are going to talk about wizards, not the wizards with a pointy head. We're going to talk about wizards in Zoho CRM. Zo came up with a very nice way to receive information regarding any kind of record in your system. If you need to create a new lead or a new contact, whatever it is, you can do it using multiple screens. Let's assume that you're supposed to grab lots of information regarding your lead. You will be able to do it now using multiple screens. And each one of those screens can carry some functionality behind it. Something like you do with a blueprint. Let me show you how it works. This is the existing way. You click on the plus button and then you will see all the fields related to your lead. So that's option number one. We are going to work on the wizards and the wizards are early release, which means there is a chance you don't have it. And if you do want to have it, contact me and I will hook you up. Let's click on wizards and we are going to create a new one. And this wizard name will be um, new lead step by step and it will work on the leads module. Let's click on next. I will need to double click in this area and you will see that now I have a way to receive information. You can also see that Zo are investing now more time and money into creating beautiful functionality and user interface. So this is a very, very nice way to create stuff. On screen number one, let's call it personal details. I like to receive all the personal details from my lead. So I will have here the last name. I will add the first name, company name, and that's enough. That will be screen number one. And for now, let's just click on done. I am not going to touch the buttons. We just need to click on, one, on done and I have screen number one. Later on, we are going to connect between them. Next, I am going to create my, uh, my next screen. I will double click here and that will be contact information and I will throw here some fields like phone number and email and phone number. So let's assume that those are the fields that I want to have and let's make it like that. That's nicer. And you know what? Also Facebook. Sure. And let's click on done. And the last one will be my marketing assets. So I will have here two fields. One, it will be the campaign name and the campaign name will be, where are you? Let's write here to make it faster campaign. And I need also the lead source and also opt in in case that the client do not want to get from me any type of marketing materials. So I will also have it here, no SMS and no emails. And I will click on done. Now I have here my three screens. If I will try to save it, you will see that I'm getting a warning because those screens are not connected, which means I wanted to show you that so you will know that you cannot make mistakes. The system will give you the boundaries where you can work in. So I will click here on the personal details and I am going to create here a button. And the button will be named next and the button will push the information you see link to screen and that will link the screen to screen number two one second craziness happened okay i'm going here let's delete this screen and next i am going to contact info and i am going to create a button name next and that will link me to this screen. Now on this screen, I will create another button named save, which that will push all the information into my CRM. Now you can have some actions related each one of the screens. So let's go to the first one. For example, you can see that I can have here 
in the button, when I'm clicking on it, I can have some actions. So when, for example, I will feed the information of the first name, last name in the company, I can have a webhook being sent to a third party application, maybe Zooflow. I can have a custom function running. I can have email notifications. You have some functionality behind it that can run whenever you finish each one of those screens. Now let's click on done. Let's save the wizard. And now I am going to create a new lead. If I will click on the plus button to create a new lead and I will go here to the uh, standard, you will see that I have here a new, new lead step by step. That's the wizard that I created. If I will click on standard, I can have, have here the first name, last name, amazing business results, and I'm going to save as draft, or I can click on the bottom and I can go next. Now that was an example of when I need to stop in the middle of the process. Let's assume that I grab the information and the user don't want to proceed right now. And that might be when I'm giving, for example, a price proposal for fixing a fridge. And the person says, I need to think about it and it bounces. Then I will just save the information for later on. And if I want, I can later click and continue the process, which is very, very cool. Because in the other case, I would lose the information. So here I will click next. I will have here the email address. I will have the phone number, Facebook. I will have all the information. I will have here my campaign name and I will click on save. And now the information is saved into my lead system. So as you can see, you have here two routes. You can use it for a long process that you need to save pieces of information as you go or you can just use it to simplify the way that you grab information from your user, which is much easier for your employees. Instead of creating a huge lead form with lots of information, you can do it using step by step, much nicer. Also for you as, an, as someone that grabbed the information, okay? So I hope this session was, was good and you, you understand now where you are going with the cool stuff. If you liked it, thumbs up. It's always nice to get some love. If you have any questions, comments, something, let me know in the, in the comments below and I promise to respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.